Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to go over some elements in the share menu. And you'll notice that the share menu has local file, screencast, Vimeo, YouTube, Google Drive, and custom production. Each of these methods are ways that you can produce a video and package it and deliver it. Now the first you'll notice is called local file. Now this is going to give you a commonly used in Camtasia format of a video. So in order to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to open an existing project and then we're going to go through some of the elements of being able to produce a video. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the file area. We're going to pick up a recent project. Okay, so now that we have the project open on our timeline, let's go through the various elements of the share menu so you can understand how to produce videos from this menu. So we'll go to the share menu and first go to local file. What you'll notice is that Camtasia will open up a production wizard. You'll have several choices that you can use in order to produce your video. Once again, you'll see some of the same options that you saw in the share menu. In fact, you'll see all of them. And so let's scroll up a little bit. We can produce this as a video that we're going to send the screencast, share to Vimeo, Google Drive, share to YouTube. So although it's a bit redundant, there are going to be some cases where you will be able to get these choices when you go through the final process of doing your video. Now, the most important distinction to make when you're looking at these choices are first, you'll see three choices at standard and high definition. And then you'll see similar choices at standard and high definition. Now, the first set of choices means that you'll be producing an MP4 file. And that file used to upload to various services, various video sharing, and it's a commonly used format. Now you can also get the same MP4 file, but you can also deliver it with a smart player. And you can use a smart player when you have features in your video that you produced in Camtasia, such as interactive hotspots or quizzes or surveys. Any of those features will make it necessary for you to produce your video in the smart player format in order to get all of the features that you have delivered. So what we're going to do is we're going to produce this video at high definition to produce an MP4 file. And we're going to click next. You're going to have the opportunity to save this as a certain name. So you can give this a name. And once again, Camtasia will give you the choice of organizing your products into subfolders so that everything associated with this video will be in one folder separate from the rest of the files in this folder or you can have this file go directly into this folder without any other folder. So in other words, you'll have the new video saving mp4 file in this directory. If you use this feature, you'll have a folder named new video saving and then the mp4 file within that folder. Now, there are a couple of production options. You can choose to show the production results and this will show you everything that has happened during the rendering or the production of your video and then you can actually have your video play right after production. Whatever your preference is with respect to these two choices, you can use them. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and produce this local file and we're going to click finish. And then our video will start to produce. So we'll come back at the end once the video is complete. Okay, so now the video is completing. It will complete and then Camtasia will open up. Now the video will start playing. We're gonna close that out. You're going to notice that you're going to have all of the production elements in front of you. You'll be able to open the production folder. That'll tell you where your video will be. And as we suggested, you're going to have this new folder. And what we can do is we can take everything that we use in order to create this video to create a production preset. So that all we have to do is just reproduce the drop down element to do exactly what we did this time with this video. 
And we're going to skip doing that this time, but we have just created a local file with our video. Once we click finish, this window is actually going to go away and then you'll have the editing screen again. Okay, now in the next video, we are going to take a look at producing a video for screencast.com. With that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.